Hi, this is B-Man Almighty, and um, I'm playing uh, Assassin's Creed 2. Um, now, last time I recorded, I just got through the tutorial, and I found out I was out of um, out of recording space a lot earlier than that, <laughs> because I am recording at high definition, and I filled up 88. Um, you need megabytes a lot faster um, than I expected it to take. So I'm going to have a session of 40 minutes and I'm really going to keep to that or else I will have nothing in order to show you. <laughs> um, so um, anyways, I didn't lose all that much because um, the tutorial is pretty damn boring. <laughs> Um, well, the tutorial memories are pretty boring, uh, because basically it feels like an MMORPG, um, tasks, like taking something and bringing it somewhere else, or giving something to somebody, it really not all, not all that exciting. Um, what you do need to know from the first game is basically how it ends. Um, now I'm not going to say that because some people might find this spoiler, not very many people. Um, but uh, there's a recap at the beginning of the game I might post a little bit later. But uh, right now I just sort of want to get some footage. Um, so anyways, uh, I'm also going to put a link up at the top right in order to um, link to one of my friends who has the, who played the entire first one, so you can watch that. Um, and he's starting on the second one, so if you don't like me, you can just watch his uh, VOD, video on demand of his live streams on his webpage, on his uh, live stream, which I have up there, or if he's uh, posted on his YouTube channel, which he doesn't do all that often, but uh, something to, I guess, do. Um, so I'll just start this up. I've already wasted three minutes. <laughs> so I sort of want to get this, some footage in before everything totally goes shit on me. Oh wait, hold on a second. Okay, and we're back, and I'm sorry about that. Um, there were a couple things I wanted to change to make sure that you could actually hear me. So anyways, the point we're at is... Where am I exactly? I wanted to uh, turn down the volume of the game so you could actually hear me over it. Okay, so, anyways. Traditore! Yeah. Hey, what's with oh. the swords? Aren't you supposed to arrest me? No. Let's what do you want then? You want to escape? Or you to die? So, anyways. Well, that's um, not going to happen. So, why don't we explore other options? There are no other options! Basically, what I wanted to, uh... What I was, um... Basically, I just went into the bathroom where my father told me to go. He wants me to, uh, deliver a message from inside there. Um... That's why this memory is actually called Fem Heirloom. This is when I actually first... I uh, got the assassin's costume. Just um, and now I'm supposed to actually do something with it. <laughs> so this is why I think right here is actually the most appropriate place in order to uh, start. Actually, um, actually, I guess capturing this because uh, first time that is actually sort of important. Stuff actually starts happening. 
compromised during a mission. Um, only a mission though. I have a few rules that determines that because sometimes it's sort of unclear what an actual compromise is. Um, if the guard, the first rule is I'm compromised if the guard is able to say uh, assassin or whatever the one word he does in order to warn his little friends everywhere. Um, so if he's able to do that or able to put out his first attack, that means I'm compromised. Uh, the second one is, if it's in a cunt scene, I am not compromised because I really don't have much control over that. Um, continuing, the third rule is, after an assassination, it does not count because immediately you become hot, everybody becomes hostile to you. So that's the third one, and the fourth one, um, oh, I don't know what I wrote there. Huh. Um, oh yeah, okay, that's what it says. Um, if the mission requires me to com be compromised, it's not considered a compromise. So, that will keep things a little bit more interesting for me because I've already done some of these missions. And, uh, I've obviously done a lot of them poorly. <laughs> I'm also going to be, uh, recording Ezio my Ditori? What are you doing here at this hour? It... I, I don't... Wait, child. Take a breath. Collect your thoughts. My father and brothers have been imprisoned. I was told to bring you this. Ah. I see now. It's a misunderstanding, Ezio. I'll clear everything up. How? The documents you've given me contain evidence of a conspiracy against your family and against the city. I'll present these papers at their hearing in the morning, and they'll be released. Thank you, Signore. Of course, my child. Do you need a place to stay? You're more than welcome here. No, grazie. I'll meet you at the piazza. Don't worry, Ezio. Everything is going to be fine. So, uh, that is basically what I'm supposed to do. See a viewpoint there. I want to get it. So we'll just keep on going up. Also sort of an interesting thing here is, uh, time of day actually matters. Because, uh, eagle. Um, because, uh, what happens is, uh, it's between dawn and dusk that guards actually change their shifts, so um, you could actually end up with no guards during an assassination attempt or something, if you plan it correctly. I have obviously not done that, because I often get in scuffles with guards and stuff. It, it's, um, I want to try it sometime. I'll, I'll try to do it some time, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that sort of adds a little bit of, of a more immersive element to gameplay. You can actually plan your assassinations carefully. Um, 
Also, apparently the game changes depending on some of the choices you make. Healing services for all the gods flock. If it does or not, I'm not going to confirm or deny because I this is my second playthrough, and um, if nothing changes, then um, I'm not going to confirm that. I just read it somewhere. I'm not sure if it actually does anything at all. So. We'll see.